has any of your dreams come true some people get precognitive dreams very often i have requested uh, some of my friends to tell me if they have precognitive dreams before the event actually occurs and i have given now a list of waiting events and i am waiting to see whether they will happen there is a theory to explain why precognitive incidents take place through dreams this is uh, best explained using the kala chakra mandala of uh, tibetans i spent two weeks in dharmashala in the tibetan settlement uh, studying this i participated in the kala chakra ceremony where they draw a kala chakra mandala using uh, colored powder filled in bamboo sticks so i was wondering why they attach so much importance to the kala chakra mandala then they explain to me the significance imagine that uh, you are moving through the circumference of the kala chakra mandala as you go from the circumference towards the center you are transcending time when you are in sleep you are going a little bit to the center and when you are in deep sleep you are at the very center so when a <coughs> lama is in uh, samadhi or he is in the transpersonal state then uh, he has access to past and future only when you are fi fixed to the circumference you are uh, fixed to the present as you go away from the circumference to the center you have got more and more access to both the future and the past when you are sleeping you are moving away from the center that is why in dreams you get precognitive information more often than when you are awake when you are awake also you may get flashes of intuition regarding what is going to happen but this is more likely to happen when you are dream parapsychologists have conducted several experiments on dreams now many parapsychology labs have a regular uh, dream research center or dream lab so here volunteers sleep on a couch their uh, physiological parameters are monitored so the experimenter sitting in another room can no when a person is dream and in telepathy experiments an agent sits in another room and uh, looks at a picture and he is trying to project that picture onto the mind of the person who is dream and later <coughs> uh, five pictures are taken of which one is the real target picture and then um, uh, judges are given the dream reports which the person writes down after uh, waking up after a dream period and the five pictures are also given to the judges the judges have to rate the similarity of each picture to the dream description the judges are are not told which is the target picture 
So you calculate the average degree of similarity of the ratings of the judges of each picture with the dream description. And then you can statistically set, uh, test the significance of the difference of the average ratings of the target picture as against the other four pictures. So if, this, if it is statistically significant, you know that the target picture has influenced the dream. And uh, I have seen uh, pictures and dream, dream descri descriptions uh, so clearly matching so that uh, there is no doubt that the picture has influenced the dream content. And in uh, spontaneous uh, field studies uh, or field studies of spontaneous cases, there are uh, people who, are, who share dreams. A friend of mine once uh, initiated a person in a particular form of yoga called Samadhi Yoga. And following this, every day he had uh, unusual dreams in which he and the other person appeared. After a, a week, the other person came for consultation regarding the Samadhi Yoga technique. And then uh, my friend um, narrated to him the dreams. Then the other person said that he was having exactly the same dreams all the, on all the different days. That is, th they were sharing the dreams. So therefore, it, it appears that all the psi phenomena are more likely to occur during dream rather than in waking time. But of all the psi phenomena associated with dreams, the most significant is the precognitive dream. Many people find that when they write down their dreams every day, there is an increasing precognitive element. See, all dreams are not precognitive. Some dreams may contain some precognitive elements. But there are some dreams which very clearly indicate a precognitive element. And that is what is known as duplicative precognition. That is, you have a dream and then it takes place exactly as you saw it. There are many descriptions of such precognitive dreams. Sometimes the dream may unravel in real life exactly as you dreamt it the very next day. Sometimes it may be after uh, a few weeks or months or even years. But uh, some people are able to differentiate a precognitive dream from an ordinary dream. And some people are able to identify a duplicative precognitive dream when they see it and therefore they wait for it to unravel. Now this has many philosophical implications. If you accept precognitive uh, duplicative dreams as a fact, it means that future is predetermined down to the very detail of uh, events. There are many uh, historical um, events which were foretold and uh, the, 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 there is what is known as a precognitive registry. There are uh, pe people in the world who keep a register of precognitive dreams. So if you have a, a precognitive dream, um, you are requested to send your uh, dream to the person who is uh, keeping the register and your uh, dream will be uh, kept in record so that uh, a parapsychologist can study um, how people are able to foretell the future through their dreams. If you search the internet for uh, um, the registration of precognitive dreams, you can find 
such uh, places. And if you have uh, dreams which you think are predictive of the future, you can send your dreams to such places so that they can be kept on record and um, subjected to study later on.